On Darwin's 200th anniversary, we are having a conversation with Dr. Bobby Lowe. She is the author of Why Sex Matters. Uh, Dr. Lowe, I am dying to ask the question, why is it that sex matters? If you have to ask the question, I'm so sorry. Well, um, <laughs> no, no. I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, my publishers wanted that, that name, and I always want to apologize because I'm sure you and everyone you know knows in your heart why sex matters, right? Indeed. But the book is actually about the evolution of sex. If somebody bought it for a self-help book, they'd be very disappointed. But it's about why once sexual reproduction occurs, males and females live very different lives in most species. Not so much for humans today, at least in the Western world, but throughout most species, males and females do very different things because those very different things work. And what does work mean? Yes, so in one of Darwin's very important insights was that different traits, different organisms, different individuals are in fact different and those differences are inherited. Nobody knew about genetics then, but people understood that children are more like their parents than anyone else. So if you live in a very cold environment and you can't tolerate cold, you die. Your genes do not get passed on. And Darwin understood that it was important that variation existed and that that variation was heritable somehow. What that means is that you'll find different kinds of animals. Even among the same species, you'll find different behaviors in different environments. So in that way, work means helps you survive, helps you reproduce. Uh, and, and speaking of that, um, of course there is genetics involved, but also choice also behavior. For example, I read that in certain groups, cultural groups, more males uh, happen than females because people choose certain behaviors. Yes, there are two sorts of things that you might be talking about. One is there are populations in which the genetics are such that around the world about 105 boys are born for every hundred girls. But there are populations in which there are, say, 120 boys for every hundred girls. Then there are issues like in, issues of sun preference, like in China, India, Korea, and Japan, in which um, selective abortion, for example, is possible, and there are more boys than girls. That becomes a problem for parents later. I have a colleague who, who in South Korea says, all the parents tell their sons to sit next to the one girl in class because how will, how will they find a girlfriend? There are so few girls. Sure. And uh, are there other kind of choices? Oh, yes. And some of them are very subtle. For instance, we don't have very, very tight data, but there are Orthodox Jewish communities in which there are rules about mm, when a husband and wife may make love depending on her reproductive cycles. And because of that, that interacts with a biology bias. That is, when fertilization occurs between the sperm and the egg, if it's a long time before, if the sperm are there a long time before ovulation or a long time after ovulation in most mammals, you will get a daughter. If the sperm meet the egg right close to ovulation, you're more likely to get a son. And there are communities in which there are about 120 sons born for every 100 daughters. Now, this is not just true for humans. Animal husbandry people use this. Literally, horse breeders will talk about breeding for a colt, a male, 
or breeding for a filly, a female, and they do it by timing when the couple can get together. So these people learn from a long process of trial and error, I guess. Yes, the animal breeders do. I'm not sure we think about this with regard to humans. I know that couples, there are books for couples who want to have sons or daughters that tell them, you know, take your temperature and when you're ovulating, run home. Uh, but I don't think it's very widespread in humans. But yes, uh, horse breeders, uh, sheep breeders, if they don't use artificial insemination, they're very likely to use this kind of very calculated uh, method.